variation functions. There are four of them we're going to focus on, uh, but the general idea comes off of these first two. Uh, we have direct variation and inverse variation. Now, direct variation sets up this ratio <coughs> where the variables will vary directly. And what that means is as one increases, the other one has to increase so we can keep them equal to this constant value. So K is just our um, constant of variation. So we say uh, Y varies directly with X or Y vary dire varies directly as X. Um, <clears throat> so an example would be f of x equals 2 to the x, or sorry, f of x equals 2 times x. And we can see that my y values here, if I said, I don't know, x was 3, 2 times 3 would equal 6. For us to keep this constant ratio of 2, if x were to go to 4, then that tells us the y value would also have to increase to be 8. So that's just what direct variation is. As your x values increase, your y values are also going to increase. So they're directly um, related right there. Inverse variation kind of works in the opposite direction, the inverse direction. So instead of saying that we have a constant ratio that is, um, sorry, that we instead of have a constant ratio, we have a constant product between the two of them. So we say y varies inversely with x, or it y varies inversely as x. So an example of that would be what we have here, a function, or f of x equals 12 divided by x. So if we had, say, 12 over 3, well, we know that would equal 4. Well, if we bumped the x value up to 6, then the y value we know is going to go in the other direction. It's going to decrease down to 2. So they are inversely related. As the x values increase, now the y values are decreasing in a constant manner, all with that constant product of 12. So if I multiplied the x and y like we have here, 4 and 3 is 12, 2 and 6 is 12. So that's the relationship between direct variation, it's a constant ratio. As y increases, x has to increase. And inverse variation, we have a constant product. Whereas y increases, x has to decrease, or vice versa. <laughs> Give me a second, and I'll get uh, the next two variation functions up here for you. So here we have the two other forms of uh, variation functions, uh, first of which is joint variation, um, and then the second is combined variation. These are where we put together direct and inverse variation. We're relating three variables together. Um, we're going to have both direct and an inverse variation in that um, relationship. But think it's all relating back to y, okay, or what our, uh, f of x, if that's what we're looking at. So we're going to have one function, or one value that we're relating everything else to. So that's the group, or that's the variable that we say has being inversely or directly related back to. So in a joint variation, we're taking y, and we are directly varying it with both x and z. That's the constant um, ratio there, is y is directly related uh, back to x and z. So if this product x and z were to increase, then y would also have to increase to keep that ratio constant. An example of that is area of a triangle. Um, the relationship between area and the product of the base and the height, since that always has to equal a half, you just divide the bh over. <laughs> Since this ratio of area to base times height is always a half, then we can say that the area is directly related or directly varies with both the base and the height. <laughs> now, combined variation um, varies the y with directly with the z and inversely with the x, as we've got right here. Y varies inversely with x and directly with z. So an example of that would be the ideal gas law when we're relating volume, pressure, and temperature together. Because uh, as you know, uh, N is the amount of the gas you have, and R is your um, ideal gas constant. So if we're looking at one gas or one quantity of gas and we're looking at relating volume, pressure, and temperature, these are going to be constant. That product's going to be constant. So if we divided the T over and we're focused on seeing how everything relates back to the volume, Since this relationship here is going to be constant, because we're talking about one amount of gas, and R is already a constant, uh, what is that, 0.0821 if we're talking about atmospheres? 
<clears throat> so this is your constant uh, ratio. So we can see the volume is inversely related, or uh, varies inversely with the pressure, and the volume varies directly with the temperature. So that's an example of combined variation. So it's really joint variation and combined variation are finding different ways to cram both indirect and, or sorry, inverse and direct um, variation in there. Now, keep in mind, remember, if I want to see if something is directly related, directly varies, then they have a constant um, ratio. And then if I want to see if they're inversely related, then they're going to have a constant uh, product between the two of them. And that's really all there is to uh, the variation functions. Those are your four relationships, four variations. And um, this is really saying as a constant ratio or constant product. And you know, we'll take this a little bit further in class. But that's the idea, just get those uh, terminology and the um, little formulas, little relationships down. And I will see you in class tomorrow, guys.